Hi, and welcome to the Screencast. I'm your host, Josh Long, the Spring Developer Advocate for SpringSource. Today we're going to look at building Vaadin web applications using the SpringSource tool suite and the Vaadin Spring Roo add-on. To get started, we'll launch the Spring Roo wizard from within SpringSource tool suite by going to File, New, Spring Roo Project, and then filling out the wizard. In our case, we're building a pizza shop, so we'll specify an appropriate package and application name. Once the wizard's completed, we'll be presented with the Roo shell at the bottom of the Spring Source tool suite. The Roo shell is how we can interact with the Spring Roo application. To quickly recap, Spring Roo is a domain driven framework that br brings the dynamicism and productivity of frameworks like Grails to the Java language. It has no runtime footprint, it compiles to stock standard Java and Spring. Indeed, you can readily convert a Spring Roo application into a regular, unmanaged Spring and Java application at the click of a button. The first step when creating a Spring Roo application is to create the domain objects, or entities, specific to your application. We'll use the persistence setup command, which instructs Roo to configure our application to use JPA and, in, the, in this case, to use the Eclipse Link JPA provider connecting to the hypersonic database, which is running in memory. Once that finishes, we'll use the shell to generate the JPA entities for our pizza shop. A pizza shop makes pizzas. Pizzas have toppings and bases, both of which will also map to entities. And, presumably, somebody may order uh, a pizza, and we'll use a pizza order entity to describe this relationship. The first command, the entity command, creates a Java class of the name and package we specify. It will create a Java Bean property for an ID column and a version column and annotate everything using JPA. An entity and its corresponding database table isn't very interesting without properties or database columns. To add columns, we'll use the spring roo field command. The field command operates on the entity that was last created, so there's no need to specify the entity on each invocation. We can generate fields which have corresponding accessors and mutators and are automatically annotated as required by JPA. We can also specify validation constraints using the field command. For example, we might want one column to always be non-null. We can also specify references to other entities on the command line. This is a very simple way to build your domain model up quickly. Let's build a web application using these entities and the Vaadin Roo plugin. The Vaadin Roo plugin is another in a long line of view frameworks available to the Roo developer today as Spring Roo add-ons. Others include Spring MVC, Spring Webflow, Adobe Flex, and Google's GWT framework. To use the Vaadin add-on, we need to tell Spring Roo about it by using the add-on install bundle command, specifying the symbolic name of the add-on itself. Once the add-on is installed, we can use the vaadin setup command to automatically generate the files required to use our application as a web application and to support vaadin's theming. After a flash of activity, our application is transformed into a web application. Next, we we'll use vaadin generate all to instruct vaadin to generate all the scaffolding to support CRUD operations on our entities. CRUD, of course, is create, read, update, and delete. This generates the forms and views, one for each entity, automatically. Finally, our view layer is ready, complete with a new package under our base Spring Roo package and all the associated ceremony of the any Java, Java web application, including the webinf folder and web.xml. And with that, we now have a ready-to-use web application. We can deploy it to SpringSource TC server, which is, an, which is a hardened, more robust distribution of leading Apache Tomcat web server. TZ server includes many other niceties, including very sophisticated monitoring and measurement support called Spring Insight. TZ server can greatly simplify application development. For this reason, SpringSource TZ server developer edition is bundled with SpringSource tool suite. Sim simply drag the web application module in the package explorer on top of the TZ server instance on the bottom left 
or right click on the server instance and click on add and remove to select which web application to deploy. Then click start. It'll deploy the application and, if it's your first time deploying to TC server, ask if you'd like to enable Spring Insight. I always choose yes, of course. Once deployed, Spring Source Tool Suite will open up the application in the in editor browser window. Clicking around the application, it quickly becomes evident that the application is very quick. Vaadin builds on GWT, but offers a very unique approach to web application development. The client view is entirely dynamic, just as a GWT application would be, but every widget is synchronized with a server-side peer that reflects the business logic. So as you click on a button on the client, the click is sent to the server to execute the business logic, all in a way that's transparent to you, the user. In Vaadin, you have an extra secure, very fast web framework with rich controls for navigation, paging, forms, and much more. Here, let's first create a pizza. We can specify the text fields, but when it comes time to select toppings, there are none to select. Let's fix that. A pizza without toppings is cruel, but we can add toppings under the toppings form. We'll add a few requisite toppings, anchovies, garlic, pineapples, etc. Then, we can return to the saved pizza and resume editing it. As expected, the topping selection picker is already pre-populated. We can make our selection at ease now. Clearly, Spring Roo and the Vaadin Roo add-on are productive. If you install the Vaadin Eclipse plugin, you can take things one step further and use the WYSIWYG visual editor to dynamically edit your forms. Simply right-click on your form classes and select Open With, then click on Vaadin Editor. It will open up in an Eclipse code view, but you also have the option to select Design on the bottom. Click on Design to see a visual preview of the form. If you click on elements in the form, you can modify them using the Properties panel on the right or drag them around and lay them out as you'd like. As you can see, the pizza shop example was quite simple to do, but also the results were fairly simple. Even though this kind of database editor could be okay for some administrative views, is obviously far from being a full application. To learn how to create a real application, take a look at the chapter about Roo in the book of Vaadin. It includes info on how to add fully custom user interfaces to the application, how to modify nav navigation and layouts, as well as show best practices for validation, error handling, and internationalization. If the core Vaadin widgets are not enough for your application, there are over 150 add-on widgets. Just take a look at the directory at their website. All of these can be used directly from Roo in your application. Roo even downloads the widgets for you automatically and integrates the GWT-based rendering code to your application. Thanks for joining me on this quick introduction to the Vaadin Roo add-in.